Hello traders, welcome back to the trading course. We are already at the fourth video and today we will be covering strategies for trading CFDs. As mentioned previously, this presentation is for educational purposes only and should not be considered as trading advice. Today you will learn how to trade CFDs. As with most of the other trading instruments, we can make decisions to trade CFDs based on technical or fundamental analysis. I have already covered technical analysis in my earlier lessons and these principles can be equally applied to trading forex currency pairs or CFDs. Therefore in this lesson I will share with you some of the CFD trading strategies that are based on fundamental approach. So let's get started. The most common approach is of course buying or going long on stock CFD to earn by selling it later at a higher price. Strategically speaking, you should go long on a stock if you believe that a certain company is doing a good job and their earnings will continue to grow. Normally, as a company's profit grows, so does the stock price. This brings us to the fact that trading stocks could seem easier than trading forex pairs. For example, do you have an iPhone? Do you think that Apple will continue to make great products that will be sold in even bigger amounts worldwide? If the answer is yes, you already have a stock CFD trading idea. So always invest in something you believe in. However, when we speak of stock CFD trading, most traders don't keep positions open for too long and try to catch shorter movements instead. Perhaps the most obvious moments are when they are publishing a quarterly report. When a public company publishes latest earning report, its stock will either go up or down depending on how good the report is. Usually dates for report publishing are known in advance so you can wait for that moment and make a prediction whether it will be a good or bad. The other option would be the dividend payout date. Some stocks pay regular dividend and if you go long on stock CFDs with M trading, you could be also earning dividend. And normally, the closer dividend payout is, the higher grows the price of a stock. As you already know, you can also earn on the price decrease if you open a so-called short position or go short. In other words, you should short a stock CFD if you believe that it is overvalued and its real price should be lower. The company in question does a poor job, which should be your opinion, but its stock price seems relatively high. In this case, it could be worth shorting it. First thing you could consider checking is what analysts think of a stock. The easiest way to read their opinion is to go to Google Finance find the relevant stock and check the news feed on the right hand side. If the majority of analysts believe that stock should go down, you could consider shorting it. But remember that analysts can also be wrong, so make sure you make up your own mind. Other option would be to use comparison analysis. For instance, you believe that automaker XYZ stock is overpriced. First thing you should do is check their price earnings ratio and compare it to companies from the same industry, for example automotive. If on average the competitors of the same size have for example a price earnings ratio of 15 and company XYZ has a price earnings ratio of 50, this is a first sign that it could be potentially overpriced. Just a note. You can read more about the price earnings ratio on the link left in the video description. Moving on, the next step would be going into more details. Check the earnings report. Look for figures that could explain this difference. Do they have higher profit margins? Are the cars selling better and thus secure a bigger market share faster? Do they produce more cars or do, do it perhaps more efficiently? If you don't see any clear advantages, it should support the opinion that the stock is overpriced and shorting it could be justified. 
The biggest stock market in the world is in the USA. It is the most diversified and liquid, with high trading volumes and big choice of different companies. At M-Trading, we offer you 38 different US stock CFDs, including Coca-Cola, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Tesla, McDonald's, Twitter, and many more. Another stock market that we offer is the European one. M-Trading has German, French, and Dutch shares. If you ever want to trade BMW shares CFDs, it is now possible without any commission via your M Premium account. Now moving on to index CFDs. Index can be described in simple words as an indicator of a national economic's health. For example, if you believe in the US economy, you should be buying SP500 or DJI 30 index. As with the stock CFDs, most traders use index CFDs to open short-term positions rather than invest. One of the most popular indices for traders is German DAX 30. It is a very volatile and thus scalpers apply the knowledge there in order to benefit from movements in both directions. At M Trading, we offer one of the lowest spreads for DAX 30 in the world, only 0.8 points. Making long-term trading decisions in understandable, but how do you trade it short term? Perhaps the only reliable source of information for short term index trading is different news releases of national banks and governments. However, during a major news release, markets are extremely volatile and prices fluctuate a lot. So, trading becomes more risky. On the other hand, some of the indices can be strongly influenced by how one particular company that is included in the index is doing. For example, Bayer Chemical Company makes almost 9% of DAX 30 index. If Bayer publishes a bad earning report, it will strongly affect the performance of DAX 30. This concludes today's lesson on trading CFDs. We hope that you found it insightful and useful. Next week, we will be looking at ways which you can enhance your trading, but until then, good luck and good trading. And thank you for watching.